fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. the adventures of the masked rider of the plains took place in the United States. One of the most thrilling occurred during Mexico's war for independence when he crossed the border to join forces with the Black Caballero and aid the men of Juarez in their fight for liberty. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Rio Grande! The great white stallion bearing the masked rider swept across the plain. Hurry, old fellow! Stretch out those great legs of your silver! We've no time to waste! Hey, old silver! Away! Finally, the Lone Ranger drew rein at a small camp. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, oh, oh. Saddle up, Tonto. Here, Scout. What matter? We're riding into Mexico. Oh. And still, Scout, uh, we've been given a mission. Uh, what we do? We're to learn what became of certain funds and supplies of arms sent across the border to Juarez. Oh. Who, who, him? Mexico's president, Tonto. Oh. It's president. Although foreign soldiers have been sent from across the ocean to force him from office. And make the Mexicans accept an emperor instead. Uh-huh. And that's one thing our country won't stand for. No nation in Europe has the right to interfere in any way with any country on this side of the Atlantic. Each nation will decide for itself the kind of government it wishes. Uh, trouble? And these foreign soldiers are at war with the Mexican people. Juarez is leading his countrymen in the fight for freedom. Our country wants Mexico to win its fight. That's why certain men banded together to send Mexico the supplies it needs. Ah. Uh-huh. Word was received from Juarez that neither arms nor money arrived. Our job, Tato, is to find out why. We find it. It's the most important mission we've ever undertaken. And the most dangerous. Mm, that all right. And we can't fail. Ready, Kimasabi? Huh? Tato, ready. Follow me. Tato, sail! Get him off the couch! Southward they rode, plunging across the shallow waters of the Rio Grande, penetrating deep into the territory of the neighboring republic. Step by step, they traced the route over which the supplies had been carried, until finally... Your name is Pedro? Si, senor. You saw men with wagons, gringos, come this way? Si. And shortly afterwards, you heard sounds of fighting? But yes, senor. There is much fighting. Me, Pedro, I hear it. Did you get a chance to see who attacked? Si. I come close, senor. I watch. I see them plain. How were they dressed? They had uniforms? But yes. Blue coats they wear, senor. Red pants, wide like this. 
Then there is white women. That's enough, Pedro, and thanks. The nada. No, it's nada. What you learn. Pedro, the uniform that fellow described is the uniform worn by the foreign soldiers I've told you about. Uh-huh. They've seized the arms intended for war is. Mm, not bad. It means we ride north, Kimosabe. Why we ride that way? There's a garrison at Santa Marta. Uh-huh. Any troop patrolling this district must have come from there. The arms and money were intercepted and seized. Unless they've been moved again, they're in Santa Marta right now. And what we do? Somehow they've got to be recaptured and sent to Juarez as intended. Uh-huh. How? I don't know. We can decide that only after we've looked over the ground. There heap danger. We knew that when we started, Kimosabe. There's no turning back now. Come. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on, old boy. Santa Marta was a tiny, sprawling village whose only distinctive feature was a fort on its western side. This had been built generations before, but was now occupied by troops brought into Mexico to uphold the illegal rule of the Emperor Maximilian. The garrison was under the command of Major Lafitte, and it was before his quarters the two dusty figures reined in their mounts. Oh, oh, there. Oh. <laughs> Come on in, Dirk. Sure, why not? Figure I'm scared to talk up to that Frenchie. Ah, no reason for it. He needs us worse than we need him. Come on. I'm good. Howdy. Evening, Major. Uh, did you miss it? Yeah. Me and Dirk aim to talk to him. We? Yeah, and this time we ain't to be put off. Either we get what we ask for, or me and Squint pack our war bags and bamboos. War bags? Bamboos? What Dirk's trying to say is that we don't figure we're getting the pay we ought to. We get more, or we're quitting. You are not satisfied? Yeah, doggone right, we ain't. Pardon. Oh, no. But are you not being paid that for which you ask, gentlemen? Sure we are. But how was we to know the kind of job we was taking on? But you... Just mean? wait a second till we get through. You wanted civilian scouts that knew the country. You got in touch with us and we hired out. Only we didn't savvy then that the reason you hired us was because you couldn't trust the folks that live here. They got about as much use for you and your soldiers as they got for a mess of tarantulas. You don't belong here. You're fighting for this hombre Maximilian against Juarez. Because we're scouting for you, the folks hereabouts got the same opinion of us they got of you. And by thunder, we're here to tell you the measly cash we're getting ain't worth it. No, and twice as much wouldn't be worth it. And what have you done, Messier, to earn all this? What have we done? Why, blast you. Them tin soldiers of yours would have been ambushed a dozen times over if it weren't for us. Everything you know about this part of the country you learned from us. And here, come here. Name of a name, take your hand from me. Ah, uh, sure. But just look outside there. What's that over again, that far wall? What is it, huh? Wagons. Uh-huh. And what's in them wagons? Ammunition, to be sure. And who told you that ammunition was coming across the border for war ends? Who showed you how to find it? Who pointed out the best place to lay for it? It was us. And the cash they was taking to war ends. Yeah, you took enough off of them to pay us and 20 more like us for the next 100 years. Ah, pay? Why, you ain't even begun to pay us what we've earned. We are the... Button, the Max is attacking. There's a horseman. They're firing that fellow on the black horse. Watch out! Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. The echoes of the terrific explosion reached the Lone Ranger and Tonto on the trail outside of Santa Marta. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Oh, me. Me not know. It must have come from the fort. That's right. I want to know what happened. Uh-huh. We're riding to the fort, Kimasabi. But keep to the shadows and stay clear of the garrison. Come on, Get him up, let's go. In the meantime, the man Smith had seen in the brief moment before the blast had been cornered and dragged from his saddle. At the command of Major Lafitte, he was taken to the officers' quarters and... Sir Bundy. Well, dear, what is the meaning of this? Senor, 
That should be plain even to you. Who are you? Does it matter, senor? Who are you? (laughs) I have no name, amigo. Let us say I am one who loves his country. Don't Uh, hurt. Here, Major. Now let me handle this, Jen. I met his kind of four. He won't get no place making threats. Mm. Just make him more stubborn. Now look here, mister. You savvy, you're in a bad fix, don't you? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it is not for the first time, my friend. No, from the looks so, yeah, I reckon not. But maybe this a little worse than the others. You just blew up one of them wagons full of ammunition. These fellas hadn't stepped lively, they got the rest. This is war, fella. And right now, you ain't more than a step or two from being put up against a wall and drilled. See? Did Juarez send you here? But no. Don't lie. Who else would if he didn't? Senor, I assure you, I was sent by no one. It was my own idea. <laughs> A good one, huh? A doggone fool idea, if you ask me. Mister, you sure must have been loco to figure you could get away with a crazy stunt like this. Oh, but was it not worth trying? Yeah, you'd think so, I reckon. Now, I'll tell you. Like I said, you're in a bad fix. But maybe if you helped out, I could sort of persuade the major here to go easy on you. Uh, help out? Yeah. There's things you could tell us. For instance, you likely know where Juarez is and how many men he's got with him. And if I knew, you would have me tell you? Well, you set some value on your hide, don't you? Senor, I said I am one who loves this country. But you, these men, these soldiers, they've been sent to Mexico to put this foreigner, this Maximiliano, upon a throne that Mexico has never sanctioned, senor. Mexico is the republic. Juarez is his president. The day will come when both Maximiliano and those troops will be driven from my country. It is my hope that I shall have done my share to bring this about. You! Enough. The dog will not talk. Maybe if I... Enough. The light. Somebody shot out the light. Sucker, blue. The window. Who came through the window? Stop him. I can't see. There they go through the door. Fire! Fire! Shoot him down. Ah, you missed complete. Where'd they get to? There they go. And just try and catch them. With the man he had rescued across the saddle, the Lone Ranger led the way out of Santa Marta across country until they were safe from pursuit. They stopped in a gully and... Oh, 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 oh. Get down, stranger. Stranger? <laughs> you call me stranger, amigo? <laughs> Where are your eyes, senor Lone Ranger? <laughs> Who are you? Him, friend. Stand over here out of the shadow where I can see you. <laughs> the black caballero. And you have not forgotten me. We saw them capture you. Saw you in the commandant's quarters. But only your back, never your face. <laughs> and again, my friend... I am in your debt. There's never any question of debt between us, Black Caballero. But I I have not asked you. How is it you are here? Well, what brought you? Uh, uh, you were looking for me, yes? We didn't know that you were within 500 miles of this district. Well, then how Father is it... Father and I were sent here by friends of your country. Arms and money were supposed to reach Juarez. They didn't. We traced them here. My friend, you are for Juarez... You come to fight for Mexico? Your country and mine have a common cause, Black Caballero. Neither one wishes to see a foreign ruler gain a foothold in this part of the world. Amigo, then once more we are comrades. It would seem that way. You will remain here, yes? You will help the Black Caballero fight these dogs of foreigners who would make my countrymen slaves? You can count on both Tato and me. Then once more I am happy, my compadre. Here's to the three of us, amigos. Juarez and Mexico. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Making a temporary camp where they had stopped, the Lone Ranger Tonto and the Black Caballero discussed the problem that faced them. Major Lafitte holds the ammunition and the money meant for Juarez. He has a full detachment of trained men, soldiers of the Foreign Legion. They don't make better soldiers, Black Caballero. We hope to get the arms and the money back. We've got our work cut out for us. What would you do, amigo? You, uh, have a plan? I have. I had not hoped to capture the ammunition again. That is why tonight I attempted to explode it. <laughs> Better that than have it used against us. I thought that was your motive. But uh, your plan? It will need more than the three of us. Uh-huh. How many? Twenty, perhaps. Fifteen in a pinch. See? I will get them for you. But I promise you it will not be easy. No? Oh, my countrymen are brave, amigo. They are brave and love liberty even as we do. It is not that. What then? Maximiliano has signed a decree. Any of my countrymen found bearing arms is to be shot. Oh, what will you have? They are poor. They've been oppressed. How can they hope to oppose soldiers like those at the garrison? Oh, oh, do you blame them, my friend, if they hesitate to fight for their liberty against such odds? I don't. But I will go among them if it is what you wish. Some there must be who will join us. Good. And when we have them... Show me these men, Black Caballero, and you'll learn the rest of my plan. But for the present, there's much to be done. Mm, See? It will be as you say. You have my word. We'll strike a blow that will hurt. It was the following night that a figure clothed in black stole from house to house in Santa Marta. He spoke in guarded tones. You will join us, Miguel. You will strike a blow for Juarez in Mexico. But there is danger, Senor Black Caballero. But freedom if we win, compadre. Si, si. Is it I have married a coward? Have you but the art of a rabbit, my husband? You will say yes. Be still, Conchita. Senor, si, I join you, amigo. And you, Jose? Senor, you may count on me. Senor Black Caballero, I promise you this. Not only Manuel will join you, but all his friends. They are here, my friends. See? Are they not fine-looking men? They will fight like lions, amigo. You had better luck than I had expected. My countrymen are patriots. Tell them to dismount and make camp. Then we'll learn what they're to do. Senors, dismount! We make camp! But the activity of the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero could not be entirely concealed. Keen eyes at the garrison noticed that certain men were missing from the town. And alert ears caught rumors of an exciting event promised for the near future. Major Lafitte issued his orders, and later the following day... Get in there, Black Senor. Senor, please, I beg of you, do not strike me. Well, who is this fellow? You asked for somebody that could answer questions, didn't you? Well, here he is. I'm scared enough to spill the whole works. What does he know, monsieur? Well, we ain't tried to find out yet, but he knows plenty, I'll lay you that. Get up here. Stand on your feet. Please, senor. You savvy what's going on, don't you? Sure you do. You're going to spill it, ain't you? Huh? Ain't you? But what is it you would wish to know, senor? I am an ignorant man. I do not know. something that'll smarten you up. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Now then, we'll get down to cases. What's up around here? What's this scheme we've been hearing about? I know nothing. I swear I know... Yeah. And that's just the beginning. If you still figure to hold out, we can use a whip on you. If that don't work, well, there's other things you like a heap less. Speak up, man. If I speak, if they learn that I have told, they will kill me, senors. Keep silent and I will make you wish they had. No. Tell us what we wish to know, however. You will have my word that you will be protected. You will stay here within the fort. These fellows won't be able to touch you. You won't have nothing to worry about. You are sure, senors. I can trust you, yes? Get on with it. See, si, see. Si. It is like this. I will tell you all, and then you must. <laughs> so the 
fools would trick us, eh? <laughs> well, perhaps they'll find that they have been tricked instead. It will be most amusing. The look upon their stupid faces when my men have struck. You think that <laughs> Max is telling the truth? Oui, monsieur. You saw how frightened he was? That all fits, Dirk. It ain't just what he told us. I've heard some things here and there myself. What he said was right along them same lines. Yeah. I know the place he mentioned, Major. It's in the hills. But it ain't so far from here. Me and Dirk can get your men there easy. And them fellas won't suspicion we're within a dozen miles of them. Splendid. Get them surrounded and then close in on them. And they'll never have a chance to even get started. And at the same time, we will have captured the worst of these rebels. We won't have much trouble around here after that. I wonder who that masked fella is he told us about. I was just thinking. Yeah? Well, he kind of sounds like an hombre I've run into that's got a, a red skin part. Yeah, that can't be the same. Fellow I mean, I met up with in Texas. He's still likely north of the border. Well, then what are you worrying about him, Claire? You hear me say I was worrying? I ain't. It's the masked man who schemed to get my men to chase after him and away from the fort. So them Mexers with him could get in here and grab them arms. Weren't that it? We. Oui. <laughs> well, that weren't such a bad scheme. Fact is, it might even have worked. <laughs> Only it just so happens we know when they plan to leave their hideout. Before that time comes, the whole Paslum will be under guard. <laughs> Other inquiries bore out the villagers' story. On the following afternoon, an hour before dusk, the troops stationed in the garrison mounted at the command of Captain Lasseur. While Major Lafitte looked on, the captain shouted an order. The troop clattered through the open gate and out of town toward the hills. Dirk and Squint rode at the head of the column, and by nightfall, the soldiers were close to their destination, the hideout of the Black Caballero and his comrades. They cautiously surrounded the place, then awaited the order to charge. Dirk and Squint, at the side of Captain Lasseur, pointed to the glowing campfires below them. There they are, Captain, just waiting for us to get them. Yeah, and look there. See by them trees where the light from them fires strike them? Eh? The sentries they posted... <laughs> Looks like they fell asleep. Well, what do you say? What about charging them? At once. You, monsieur, you will tell the bugler to blow the charge. We will take them by surprise. Right. Come on, boy. <laughs> the idiots. Counting their fires, there can't be more than 20 or 30 of them at the most. What call they got to set themselves up against us? We. Oui, they will not be for long. There it is. Get up. Get up. the encampment, the troopers swept, firing and shouting as they rode. The sentries, Squint had noticed, did not move. The legionnaires were met by no resistance. The camp was silent. Finally, with an angry exclamation, Captain Lasseur drew rein, threw himself from his saddle. Shoot it! What the... Yeah, look there. Them sentries we thought we saw. Dummies, that's what they are. Just dummies made out of old clothes and propped up to look like men. There ain't a soul here. What does this mean? I can tell you. That blasted Max either lied to us or they heard about our coming. The whole bunch got away. But the fire. So they can't have been gone for long. Captain. We? Between you and me, mister, I got a notion you'd better round up your men and head back to the fort just as fast as you can. But I do and not And if see. I can read signs, it's going to be the devil to pay. Let's get going. Come on, you guys. But swiftly as the legionnaires rode for Santa Marta, others were there before them. Major Lafitte, writing at his desk, heard a sudden cry outside the room. And... Name of a name, what? Stand where you are, Major. The man with the mask. Don't move. Do you have him, amigo? Right. Pablo! Yes, Pablo? There are horses in the stables. Have the men hitch them to the wagons. Those wagons hold the arms we're after. Get them started on the way. I'm not doing it. Back inside. Where did you come from? What has happened to my men? <laughs> Senor, your so foolish soldiers are looking for us where we are not. Quite. There is no need for you to cry for help. I can assure you, no help will come. The guards you had posted are at this very moment most incapable of moving. You, you murdered them? Ah, but no, senor. We are not murderers. That's enough talk. Major, your men stole those arms outside. They have... Quiet. Not... 
But that isn't all they stole. There was money as well. You have it here. No, monsieur. We want it now. Or it will be the worse for you, my friend. Wait. It is gone. You feel it in your side, senor? You would have me pull the trigger? <laughs> you think I would not? Do not be so foolish, my friend. I would do so with the greatest of pleasure. <laughs> and how then could you fight for Maximiliano? The, the money in there, the desk. I have the key. Unlock it. I will. Do not shoot, monsieur. You will hurry. And I happen to know how much you seize. If any's missing, you'll regret it. It is all here. It has not been touched. <laughs> uh, how one else will laugh when he is told of these. Give it to me. There, you have it all. Look, amigo. Tonto has brought my horse from the stables. One of these pigs have kept him in. The wagons, they are leaving. Tonto will see to them. And as for you, Major, you will this not... is only the beginning. We aren't done with you yet. And we won't be until you and every man like you has left the country for good. You will be Stay sorry. There. Come. Adios, amigo. Pigs, dogs, you'll pay. You'll pay for this, I promise you. My men will scour the country. You can hide no place. They will not find you. I'll have you stood against the wall and shot. Amigo, tell me something. Yes? There at Santa Marta. You said this was only the beginning. Did you mean that, my friend? Do you remain with the black caballero? We have a band that has proved its courage. Ah, see. They are brave fellows. We've regained the arms and money that were sent to Juarez. It is so. We've already struck one damaging blow at Maximilian's soldiers. See. Si. But the fight isn't won yet, black caballero. And until it is, we ride together. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.